Vortex. I know I have smoothie mouth. I know I do. I can feel it. I can feel those green crusties. So, how are you, Vortex? Are you the same? Are you the same as you usually are? myself do it I hate it I hate I hate it. it's part of it it's part of it get used to feeling like shit I can sing a lot better but I don't wanna Cause what I'm saying about makes me sick And I know that people enjoy what I do Reasons that I don't often agree with But sometimes I think that they're right most of the time, I don't, because I see myself for the way that I truly am, which I think on this channel is, this channel is like way greater representation of what I actually bring to the table than anything I do on stage, which is why I hate what I do on stage. But a lot of people really like it, especially women. I've noticed that women love my shit, and I'm like, why, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my tire pressure light just came on again. I filled my tires last night. I think the sensor's messed up, I mean. Just checking when you get to work. You know, everything is a version of another thing. You'll never fully get away from the stuff that you don't want. You swear up and down you want nothing to do with. 
I realized that about myself that all the things I don't have I want to gloat about not having but I still have all those things in some other kind of way Mainly because I know precisely what being right entails. Everybody misunderstanding you, everybody misrepresenting you, everybody thinking that you're saying things. Better for you. It's just for you to gloat. And I understand why they assume that because, yeah, most people are. Right about this, I was right about that. Well, yeah, but it's not, it's not making a difference though. You know, there's this saying that I used to hear in AA meetings all the time, and I never really understood it until now. <laughs> do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Now, I always say, well, when I'm right, I am happy. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> because I have to look at the world being wrong. Now, I think that if you are content with yourself, then you can be satisfied with whatever you're doing, even if people don't agree with it or they misunderstand. Um, But it's like I, I get like that from, from an intellectual standpoint, like yeah, yeah, when you have more information than everybody else, it just makes you miserable. Because it's like you're you're aware of like how people are being lied to. And What do you tell them? Like, oh yeah, there's no hope actually. <laughs> you know that thing you have so much faith in? <laughs> that thing's bullshit. <laughs> That's why I like, I don't know. I realized that it was wrong for me to like try to tell people not to get jabbed. Because it's, it's like easier for them It's easier for them to keep thinking that nobody's lying than to realize everybody's lying. But if somebody lies to you, that's probably what you're gonna do. Yeah, because you've got no choice. They, you were, you were given false information. And yeah, it, it's your fault because he didn't do investigative research. But most people aren't fucking detectives, okay? Most people, <laughs> most people don't use the internet to be a detective. because they don't think that they have to. You know, somebody that's like a conspiracy theorist, they have more of an inquisitive personality than somebody that's like your average Joe or Jane. Your average Joe or your average Jane. They're not gonna fucking look into stuff, especially when that stuff makes them feel like crap, you know? They'd rather take stuff that makes them feel like crap than look at stuff that makes them feel like crap. Even if looking at that stuff that makes them feel like crap could save their life, they won't fucking do it.